Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're preparing for the upcoming character, Gwen Ifen. As of time of recording this, we have 11 days left until her banner releases, meaning we need to start getting on our preparation to have everything we need in order to build her. So without further ado, let's get in to the video. But before we do that, these videos really do take a lot of effort. This took a lot of time to record, edit, and put together. So it would really mean a lot to me if you could just go down and hit that subscribe button. Only a small percentage of you are actually subscribed. So it really does help a lot when each individual person does subscribe. Anyways, guys, let's get back in to the challenge. Alrighty, welcome back everybody to another episode of Nihility Only. Now, today's episode is important because today we are grinding for an important character, Gwen Ifen. She is a character who I really, really want to bring home. I believe she's going to be the last Nihility character for quite a while. So the first thing, of course, we're going to need for her in order to even bring her home is a ton of Stellar Jade. So let's take a quick look at her Stellar Jade count to bring her home. So currently... We are sitting at 6.5k Stellar Jades, which gives us a total of 40 Star Rail passes for her. On top of that, in my inventory, we have 24 additional Star Rail passes, meaning that we can at least go to 64 Pity, which is just a little before Soft Pity for a 5 star. So hopefully, we don't get a Topaz or a Sele. I say the only way we don't end up with Gwenaifen is if we get astronomically unlucky, but I don't think that will happen. So let's prepare to build her. Let's check our inventory. What have we been grinding recently? So these are all just speculations, of course, but I believe she might need the searing steel blade. So we have been grinding those out. We have a total of 48 of them right now. If you don't know, you need 50 of these things in total to take a character to level 80. So let's go and grind the rest of what we need. Stagnant Shadow is the Shape of Scorch. We have been fighting this boss recently. We still haven't got difficulty 4 yet, unfortunately. That is because we are still not quite at Trailblaze level 60. We're like inching towards it, but not quite there. We're currently at 57. I believe we can actually get 58 today. But before we do that, let's fight this boss and get the final materials we need. Start with the Kafka E. You'll notice that our team has got a little bit more powerful since my last video. We're doing a tiny bit more damage than I think we used to because we did get a couple artifact upgrades or relic upgrades, I guess is what we choose to call them now. As you'll see, I think we might be able to kill this boss without it even hitting us. Let's see if we can do it. Come on. Kafka, go. Boom, boom, boom. Kafka again. Silver Wolf burst. Boom. Welt E. And we beat him, no damage taken. What did I say? But let's go back to what I said before the boss fight and hit a R. God damn it, Trailblaze level 58. To do that, all we have to do, do a quick daily mission, take one photo, Kafka say cheese, boom. And just like that, we're Trailblaze level 58. Let's go claim our rewards. How's my Trailblaze level? Give me 100 gems and another fuel. Let's go. So close to level 60, man. Oh, we're so, so close, but a little bit longer and we'll get there. Anyways, that is the end of our boss mat grinding for Gwenaifen. The next thing which we have to worry about is her talent material slash ascension material slash nihility material. Uh, and as you'll see here, I already have a lot of them. I've been gathering a lot of them. I have 155 obsidians of dread. All right, next things next, we've covered the two main things which you need to upgrade a character, which is their calx material and their boss material. We of course have the EXP books. We are absolutely fine on EXP books. Uh, as far as credits go, we are looking a little iffy on credits. We do have 2 million, which I think should be enough, but we'll see how it goes. And I think that about covers the material section for Gwenaifen. I think we have almost every last material she would need to level her up to the absolute maximum. Now, we have to worry about how to build her. And that's really important. It always has been, always will be. So the first thing which we need for Gwenaifen is a solid light cone, which to be honest, we're kind of lacking. The only option I really have for her right now is Fermata. Kafka is holding on to good night sleep well. Welt has his signature. Sampo has his four star signature. Silverwolf has her four star signature. Luca is holding on to solitary healing. Pele is holding on to the Luca light cone. And so the only one I really have left is going to be that Kafka light cone, which is not particularly good for her. The stat effect here is kind of mid. 
it increases break effect and also some shock and wind dots but seeing as it's the only option i have left it's what we're gonna end up using on her if you guys have any better suggestions, I'd love to hear them, but I couldn't think of anything better that I could put on her that isn't currently on another character or that I could take off another character. But anyways, let's at least level up the Fermata Light Cone so that it's at least somewhat usable with her. We could at least maybe pair this with a Sampo or maybe a Kafka and it could still be somewhat usable. We just have to level it up. So let's get the resources we need and level this thing to the maximum. We can craft a couple silver main guard materials, bing bang boom, and then craft these into the purple ones, boom. And now if we go back to the light cone, we're going to level it up and take it all the way to level 70. Let's go. And then that's the maximum for right now because we're still not at that next ascension yet. As for some super impositions, I believe there is actually a couple super impositions which we can get for this light cone. We already have one in our inventory. So let's super impose three right there. Um, and I believe if we go back to the parlor car and head over to Forgotten Hall, we might actually have a couple more super impositions for it. So let's see here. Shop light cone manifest. Yep, I'm able to buy one more perfect that's all i need one more and we're gonna get that level four won't have enough for level five but that's okay i'm not gonna lie i hate coming back to forgotten hall because it reminds me that i'm still not able to do it every time hopefully that changes when i get gwen hyphen we'll see though for right now let's go back to our little light cone and let's take it to super in position four and that is gonna be our gwen hyphen light cone and there we go super in position four that is gonna be perfectly fine for her it's at least nihility so it's something Next thing we have to worry about for her is, of course, we need some relics for her. Now, we've been doing a tiny bit of relic grinding, not too much, but I did save some good ones for her uh, that I just happened to get while relic grinding. So we got a nice little hat here with some attack speed and crit damage, where, of course, for DOT characters, you always want to go for uh, mainly attack percent is going to be the main thing. And then next would be speed. And then I have another one here with attack percent and crit damage. Crit stats aren't as necessary, but they're nice for a tiny bit of personal damage. We have a ring here with a speed and effect hit rate. Again, effect hit rate is almost always good on all Nihili characters so I don't see why it wouldn't be good on her um, effect hit rate body um, I'm gonna try to go for attack percent because I feel like attack percent is more generally useful but I'll keep the effect hit rate one just in case and then of course we also got a pair of speed boots which I want to use for her too so let's level up a couple of these pieces I guess for right now we'll put them on our level 20 Himiko because why not everybody loves Himiko best erudition character in the game no debate so we'll put all our pieces on her for right now this is gonna be her full four piece set boom 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 and there we go we got the full four piece i feel like the most important one to upgrade would definitely be speed boots now fortunately i'm a little low on relic exp right now i i need a lot more i'm not gonna lie uh but at least i'm gonna take everything uh at least a plus nine if i can so let's take the speed boots plus nine here we go Ooh, attack percent and break effect that's perfect that's a great piece for her attack percent break effect next we'll do the gloves can we get maybe attack percent on the sub stat here give me attack percent crit damage that's fine we'll take crit damage and now give me a little bit of speed give me speed ah that's fine effect hit rate isn't bad either we'll take effect hit rate and then we're not going to worry about upgrading the body but we are going to upgrade the hat please give me attack percent attack percent please ah damn it defense Ugh. shoot bro it's fine attack percent this roll come on damn break effect okay that's fine because we did have one more hat we had one more hat yes we have this one here with speed crit damage attack it's flat but it's fine give me attack and speed shoot bro i don't need break effect stop giving me break effect god damn come on crit damage it's okay all right that's a fine piece and there we go we got three pieces for her at plus nine the last piece we need is an attack percent body and because we're a little low on artifact exp right now why don't we go and get a couple art relics kekvin get it through your brain bro okay relics let's go get them here we go oh gosh it's the automaton this will be fun Let's just go grind a bunch for her. A rule that I did decide to implement while I was grinding for relics in the past is that I am going to allow myself to use one support character um, that isn't Nihility and that is in fact a healer instead. This is just because it's super annoying every time when my characters eventually die and then I have to go back and go back and teleport, boom, boom, boom heal, and then eventually the pylon runs out because I have to heal so much and then I have to start grinding for food. It's just a really annoying process and to be honest, I don't see really much reason why i 
shouldn't use abundance characters when grinding. It just makes my life a little bit easier. It's not really hindering the challenge at all. So I decide to use at least one abundance character when grinding now. Hopefully you guys don't mind that too much. But anyways, let's go get some relics. Oh my gosh, literally the first run we do, we get an attack percent body. What is that luck? I only had to do one run. Um, I think I will just do a tiny bit more though. Um, until we have enough relic exp to level up this piece. So give me a minute and we'll be right back. Alright, well I think I'm done grinding relics for right now. Let's look at what we got. Did I get anything good? Inventory. Tell me I got at least something good. Oh, it was all the wastelanders that- well, they could still be good for welt. Uh, that's trash. That's garbage. Uh, maybe? No, probably not. And that's trash. Great. Well, at least we got what we wanted out of that, which was an attack percent body. We got attack percent body, which is awesome. We got two rings. Um, one which is probably trash, and the other... Ooh, that could actually be really good. But let's do what we wanted and put our body on to Himiko right now. But this will obviously change. And let's upgrade it. It actually has like three pretty de decent stats for Gwen Ifen. So I think no matter what we get here, I mean, it's a win. Unless you roll into defense or HP, that's not great either. Can we just not hit that stat? Okay, that's how we're going to play today. Okay, we'll take crit rate. We'll take crit rate. That's fine. There we go, plus nine body. And now we have a full plus nine, plus nine, plus nine, plus nine relics for our Gwenyphon, which is perfect. Unfortunately for the orb and rope, we don't really have the materials to get an orb and a rope right now. The chances of us getting a good fire damage orb in this video are pretty slim. I think our best odds at getting like a really solid fire damage orb would probably wouldn't be by actually doing the worlds in the abyss. I think our best chance at getting one would be by getting one of these self-modeling resins and making one ourselves. That's going to be the only guaranteed way we can get it. And now we just have to find a way to get self-modeling resin, which, um, how do you do that? I don't know. There's one in Swarm Disaster, but ain't no way Nihility Only is clearing this content. It's way too hard for Nihility Only right now when we still are running four-star relics on half of our characters. This event is like 10 hours long, so I can't do it in today's episode. Is there any other way I can get self-modeling resin? Uh, can I still get it from Aram Alley? I don't think I can get it from Aram Alley anymore, can I? It doesn't look like it. I can't get a, I can't get self-modeling from Aram Alley. Oh no. Okay, maybe we'll do one try of the simulated universe and see if we can get at least anything good. In terms of what set I'm going to want for her, it would probably be the attack percent one, I would have to guess, because she's a DOT character, so how can attack percent be bad for her? Uh, so let's try and grind this set. No more jokes, come on now, orb. Give me Nihility, nice. More Nihility, boom. Oh, wait, what? Oh, we got an achievement and more nihility and the path to resonance. We're looking good this time. I should really just stop choosing occurrence, but the gamba temptation is unbearable. But I can never seem to get lucky as shown here. Well, there goes a curio. I'm going occurrence again. Nobody can stop me from going occurrence. I'm too tempted by by gambling. See, like, look at that time. We got 150 cosmic fragments. Sometimes it's beneficial. Not very often, but it can be. And DOT gets them. Nice. Pretty clean run that time. And we get a Nihility Light Cone. Good. And this time, you'll see we get the little yellow double this time. Nice. Except it's all in the wrong set. Ugh. Maybe for Kafka. Defense. Imaginary? Actually, that could be a good Welt piece. Give me a good Curio. Uh, this one. Ooh, gold Light Cone. Let's go. Ooh, now which one of the three do I pick? I think I just go the one with the book because we're still gonna need a lot of Stellar Jades for Gwen Ifen because we have no guaranteed on her. We're gonna need all the Stellar Jades we can get, trust me. I've had some pretty bad luck with four stars in the past and I don't want that to happen again. And I guess this time, more currents. That's not the occurrence button. Give me something good this time, please. 
Uh, yeah, no shot I'm risking a 40% chance of failure. I've lost too many 50-50s to risk a 40. I know how my luck goes in this game. Anyways, on to boss number two. We're gonna break him with Kafka immediately. Nice, good break, Kafka. And now we attack the guy on the end here. He's almost dead. Attack big man in the middle. Considering the fact that we've broken him, he's taken like no damage. Actually, he's at half health. We're doing pretty good. He has the mania ability. That's fine. Nice little, nice little hit there. Oh gosh. Oh goodness. I need some sort of healing, bro. I really need healing. Oh, he's so close. Okay, now just don't get another turn. Oh, well, he's gonna get another turn. Oh wait, no, he's not. Kafka, go. Oh shoot, please Luca finish him off. Oh shoot. Oh my goodness. Uh, we should be able to kill him though. But we lost a ton of HP there. Luckily for us though, we are gonna get another Nihility Gold, which is the last one I believe. And double immersion rewards. Still not in the right set. Uh, attack percent, fire damage boost. Why couldn't you have been in the other set? Ah, uh, damn it. And was that, that was Trailblaze level 59. Ooh, now we have to go claim those rewards after. Very cool. All right, let's collect another Curio. Um, at the start of a character's turn, they restore HP equal to 20% of their max HP. Yes, I need that desperately. That's such a good Curio. Give me something good this time, please. Anything good. Consume 200 fragments for one surprising curio. That sounds interesting. Okay, that wasn't interesting. <laughs> oh, damn it. And now we have a freaking boss fight coming up. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I can't even buy anything from the enhanced screen now, can I? Well, I can get one thing. Oh, I'm so dumb. All our characters are at full. We're gonna boom, slow them. And then we're gonna go in with Kafka. And let's go, Gepard. Final boss. Can we beat him? Uh, I'd say it's pretty unlikely, but we're gonna try our damnedest. Slow him a little bit. Nice. Oh, wow. He takes a lot of damage from DOT. Ow. <laughs> Why can't you just die to DOT? Oh, I need 130 speed so badly. We can break Gepard here. That's good. Gepard, break. Nice. Kill this guy on the end here. Shoot, Gepard. Oh, gosh. That hurt. Gepard's at 1% and Gepard's dead. Nice. Phase two. Here we go. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. That does so much. I need my nihility effect again. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're going to break Gepard here. We can break him with Luca. He's broken. Nice. Get some health back there with the DOT. Get, we're going to get even more health back. Boom. Okay. Everybody's almost at full. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Last phase. Here we go. Whew. We're doing pretty well, but this is the most difficult part, and Silverwolf is gonna die here. Oh my goodness, she didn't die. That is miraculous, to say the least. I don't know how she didn't die there, but I am not complaining. Okay, they're in prison. That's good. Welt gets another turn. Nice. Hit him with the punches. Silverwolf is most definitely dead here this time, though. Yeah, she's gone. Oh my goodness. He has the... Oh no. That ain't good. Can we break that? I don't know if we can. Oh, goodness. Ah, this is really bad. They get too many turns. Okay, Kafka goes again. Good. Oh, shoot, bro. Okay, we got all our HP back. That's good. Welt, slow him down. Slow him down, Welt. Or not. Or like half. Oh, yes, their shield is broken. Shield is broken. Yes. Oh, my goodness. The DOT did it. Come on, guys. Just a little more. I swear to God, if you put up another shield. Yes. We got him with DOT. Oh my goodness, we did it with only one character loss. We will take that. And still nothing on set. Or actually, we got this, but, but it's break effect. Okay. Fire damage again on the wrong set. You've got to be kidding me. And lightning damage. Actually, that's a really good lightning damage orb. We will take that. Perno stairs. I don't know what that was. Coherence. Okay, bro, we're getting so many achievements. Oh, and we get even more pieces? Dog trash. Uh, that could be good. Oh, that could be good too, but it's still not in the right damn set. And last, defense. Okay. Basically, everything we wanted in the particular set, we didn't get, but we got a ton of other pieces. And another Star Rail Pass, which, of course, is going to guarantee us another quick five-star, quick welt pickup here. Okay, never mind. 
And instead we get a destruction light cone. Awesome. Oh man, we're actually pretty close to Trailblaze level 62 after doing all the shenanigans there that we did in the simulated universe. We're super close now. And before we end off the episode here, why don't we upgrade some of those pieces? We got a couple possible pieces for Gwynifen, a lot of which look really good. Unfortunately, they were all in the wrong set, but you know, we will be fine, I think. We got two fire damage orbs, I believe. One with attack, and that's it. And the other has crit rate, and that's it. Okay, they don't look great. Ropes, we got one attack percent with effect hit rate, and that's literally it. Okay. <laughs> oh, I thought we had a lot better pieces, to be honest. But we can at least upgrade some of the pieces that we had. I think we also got a decent one for Kafka somewhere. Yeah, we had one here with crit rate, speed, and break effect. That's actually not terrible for Kafka. If it upgrades the right stats, that is. Come on, please. Speed and crit rate. Ooh, okay. Do it again. Do it again. I'll take it. I'll take it. That's not a bad upgrade. I gotta take this piece as, as far as I can. This looks like a nice piece. This is a juice piece, bro. Come on, Kafka. Crit rate, speed. Crit rate, speed. Let's go. That's a big piece oh my goodness i'm not gonna take it at plus 15 right now but that is an amazing amazing kafka piece but now for the most important pieces that we're gonna upgrade today for gwenifen let's get to upgrading those we got two fire damage orbs i guess we'll just test them both and see which one rolls the single stat more hp unlucky hp unlucky hp unlucky <laughs> This is not going our way. Uh, this one has attack percent though. You never know. It could roll well. And to be honest, I kind of have to use it no matter what. So let's see. One attack percent and one flat attack. I guess we'll take it. As for the attack percent rope, it has effect hit rate. That's about the only stat I want. And we got HP twice. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like we'll have the best Gwynifen ever. We did get effect hit rate. That's nice. But you know what? She'll, she'll do her job. We got some decent relics for her. Some which have a little speed, a little crit damage, some which are a, a little worse. But overall, I think she's in a pretty decent position to be built once we get her. We have her light cone. We have her traces. We prepared her relics, and now we're all good to go for that Gwynifen release. But with that all being said, that is going to be the end of our video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'm going to see you all in the next one. Peace.